we're going to make a video that explains how Triple Helix does our bumpers. Uh, what we have right now is we've got a rolling robot chassis for our 2019 robot, and we have the skeleton of uh, one of our bumpers that uh, some of the people on the team have put together so far this year. This part of the bumper process is sort of the easy part because it's the mechanical part. Uh, the thing that makes it easy for us is that we have these corner brackets that we've made on the off seasons of previous years. This is eighth inch thick aluminum angle and it's been cut to length and drilled and countersunk with holes so that you can attach uh, wood screws that go into the plywood bumpers. When these, these pieces are cut properly and assembled properly, this bumper will set down around the outside of our frame perimeter. We have a gap between the inside of these, these uh, angle brackets and the, the frame of about an eighth of an inch where this bumper can, can slip over. The next step in this process is that we need to put on pool noodles and, um, and then wrap this with fabric. So that's what we're gonna show you guys how to do. This box that we've got here is a big box of pool noodles that we buy in bulk. We buy them that way because they're cheap that way. You can put them on your bumpers in a few different ways. You can cut these corners at a miter and then put them together so that you get a nice, a 90 degree corner like that. You can have the two pool, pool noodles come to the ends of the, of the wood like this and then have another one come this way and then cut a short piece that stands up right in the corner and you can also wrap them around the corner. It's really up to your own, your own team's choice as to what you want to do. What you guys are going to do is you're going to take these noodles and you're going to cut them to length with a knife and then we'll use the um, gaffer's tape to tape them in place in a couple in a couple places um, on all all of the different sides, and then we'll cut corner pieces that are you know yay tall, and then put them in there and tape them in place, and that will make this bumper ready for us to apply fabric. Okay, so there's your there's your length, and then you can just rotate that noodle around. There you go, go all the way around. There you go. And now that we have our foam, we want to attach that to the plywood so that it stays in place. And the way we do that is with uh, strips of gaffer's tape. So you'll take, you'll cut yourself a couple pieces, and you'll you'll just tab it on the inside of the the bumper like that and lay it down like that. Another piece right here like that. And then you'll take your, your pool noodles, you set them in place, like this. And then you take this gaffer's tape and wrap it up and around. Nice and tight. Cool. Smells like All right, so there is our last of three bumpers. Go ahead and set that one in the stack with the other ones. And then we can do our fabric. Okay. We're ready.